In a surprising turn of events, NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has made a discovery that has astronomers around the world in awe. In the last few weeks, the telescope discovered the earliest known galaxy in the universe. But now, it has detected something even more massive, a supermassive black hole moving away from its galaxy at an incredible speed of 4 million miles per hour. This latest discovery has very important implications and has produced a lot of speculation among scientists and space enthusiasts about what it means for our understanding of the cosmos. The James Webb Space Telescope was launched on a mission to explore the first stars and galaxies in the universe and has captured stunning images of the death of stars and galaxies from a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. We invite you to join us to explore the latest discoveries from this telescope. Remember to like and subscribe for more content similar to this one. The latest discovery is challenging the science community's current understanding of black holes. Black holes are generally thought of as huge entities that pull everything, including light, toward them. But the recently observed black hole appears to be having the opposite effect. Instead of absorbing light, it is creating new young stars along a long trail. This new trail of newborn stars has been observed in the wake of the black hole, which stretches an astonishing distance of 200,000 light years. Scientists are puzzled by the unusual behavior of this black hole compared to others. But a team led by geoastronomy professor Bionda recently reported their findings in the Astrophysical Journal Letters. NASA's Hubble Space Telescope also confirmed these observations, suggesting that the black hole awakens new stars when it comes into contact with gas and cools it. Are we able to see the wake behind the black hole? But that's not all. NASA has made an exciting announcement about the galactic merger ARP-120, which was captured by the James Webb Space Telescope. This impressive galactic merger can be seen shining among other galaxies in the night sky. When the spiral galaxies merge, the phenomenon known as ARP-220 shines brightest in the infrared, making it perfect for observation by the James Webb Space Telescope. It is classified as an ultraluminous infrared galaxy with a luminosity of a trillion suns compared to our own galaxy the Milky Way, which has a much lower luminosity of about 10 million suns. ARP-220 is located in the constellation of Serpents, about 250 million light-years away. It is considered the brightest of the three closest galactic collisions to Earth, and it is listed as object number 220 in the Atlas of Peculiar Galaxies. About 700 million years ago, two spiral galaxies collided and triggered a huge explosion of star formation. This created a dense region, about 5,000 light-years across, that includes approximately 200 large star clusters. This small area contains, surprisingly, as much gas as the entire Milky Way. Previous observations with radio telescopes discovered about 100 supernova remnants in less than 500 light-years across. Then the Hubble Space Telescope revealed that the parental galaxies are located 1,200 light-years apart, with their respective cores containing a rotating ring of star formation that gives off brilliant infrared light. The latest views from the James Webb Space Telescope show impressive images of the galactic merger of the two galaxies. Tidal tails are also visible in this image, extending from the outskirts of the merging galaxies, a sign of the gravitational pull between the two galaxies. Finally, the red, ochre, and orange streams and filaments represent scattered organic materials in ARP-220. Another remarkable discovery stumped scientists when researchers found primordial galaxies at the edge of the universe. They were skeptical of their legitimacy. Some thought they might be nearby galaxies in disguise, so they shared the data with other scientists around the world, hoping for the best. Amazingly, the James Webb Space Telescope confirmed that these distant galaxies actually exist. Thanks to this revolutionary telescope, we can now observe the oldest galaxies ever seen. It is thought by astronomers that light from these galaxies has traveled more than 13.5 billion years to reach Earth, giving us a glimpse into the distant past of the universe. 
These galaxies were discovered when the universe was young, which sheds light on how quickly the first generations of galaxies emerged. The spectral data confirmed that these galaxies are at the edge of our view, some even farther away than Hubble could see. The finding is crucial because it validates one of the most important tasks of the James Webb Space Telescope. The James Webb Space Telescope, which is designed to study the early universe through light that has been traveling for more than 13.5 billion years, has a unique ability. The ability to measure extreme redshifts is what sets the James Webb apart, allowing astronomers to peer into the infrared range and observe the first galaxies in the universe. The exhilaration in the air is palpable, as this discovery marks an important milestone in the exploration of the universe and in understanding its evolution. The discovery has had a major impact on our understanding of the universe and has prompted NASA to develop even more powerful telescopes than the James Webb Space Telescope to confirm whether our understanding of the Big Bang is correct. Data obtained from Webb's F-spectrometer and near-infrared camera have revealed that four of the six primordial galaxies exhibit extreme redshifts, suggesting that Webb is observing them as they existed 300 to 500 million years after the Big Bang without heavy elements such as carbon. This is surprising since the universe is estimated to be 13.8 billion years old and the fact that these galaxies exist suggests that we need to revise our understanding of the early universe. This has generated concern in the scientific community as these new discoveries challenge the current cosmological inflation model and the Big Bang theory which has some loopholes such as going against the law of thermodynamics and not having a clear explanation of what caused the Big Bang. In addition, the James Webb Space Telescope is discovering galaxies almost as old as the Big Bang itself, which questions everything we thought we knew about the origin of the universe. A theoretical physicist, Michio Kaku, claims the discovery of ancient galaxies by the James Webb Space Telescope has called into question everything we were aware of concerning the beginning of the universe. Previously, these galaxies were thought to be less developed than the Milky Way, but new research suggests that we may be missing crucial information. The fact that the telescope has identified six galaxies that existed half a billion years after the Big Bang and are up to ten times larger than the Milky Way raises the question of whether our current theories about the creation of the universe are correct. Kaku explained that it takes billions of years to create a galaxy like the Milky Way, so it's odd to see such large, young primordial galaxies. This discovery may require us to revise and rewrite the textbooks about the beginning of the universe. Lessons learned from the James Webb Space Telescope challenge what we thought we knew about the Big Bang, leaving scientists at a crossroads. NASA tweeted recently about a galaxy cluster that lies just 650 million years after the Big Bang, adding another intriguing piece to the puzzle. Astronomers have analyzed the data and concluded that this fledgling cluster is expected to grow in size and become something similar to the Colossal Coma Cluster, A1656. The place where all this is taking place is unique and special, as it is in an area of accelerating galactic evolution. Thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, researchers can now measure the velocities of these seven galaxies which gives them the confidence to confirm that they are bound together in a protocluster. To put this in perspective, NASA scientists compared these far-off galaxies to tiny spakes of water in different rivers that will eventually join together to form a large, powerful river. Clearly, what we previously believed about the Big Bang is not adding up as expected. However, more data from the Webb telescope may reveal evidence that could confirm or dispense with the theory. Who knows? Maybe the Big Bang did happen, but what caused it is a different story. In any case, we must wait for additional discoveries, but the answer may be closer than we think. What do you think about these discoveries? Share your thoughts in the comments box, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.